Hello, my name is Kelly. I'm the Mathematic Plumber, and welcome to part two of Small Commercial Building Waterline Sizing. This video will focus on calculating hydraulic load for your different fixtures, including fixtures with direct flush valves, which we talked about in the last video. So we're going to use this example right here. This is a public building. If we look on the top left-hand side, the upper floor, we will see three bathrooms all in a row. And let's look at pipe V. Pipe V is the hot water piping, and it is serving a lav and a bathtub. All lavs in this building are 8.3 liters per minute or less, and the bathtub is just a bathtub with or without shower head. The lav is two fixture units. The bathtub is four fixture units, as can be seen on table 2632A right here. Pipe V needs to supply both the bathtub and the lav. So four plus two equals six fixture units. If I move over to pipe U, I have three bathrooms now being supplied and each bathroom was six fixture units each. So that would be 18 fixture units traveling through pipe U and that will supply the hot water to those three bathrooms upstairs. On the second floor, let's look at pipe J. That's a cold water line and that's providing water to six labs and one urinal flush tank. That's what that is on the left hand side. The urinal flush tank is three fixture units and the labs are two fixture units each. So six times two is 12 fixture units plus the three. Pipe J needs to supply 15 fixture units. So now we have a direct flush valve set up here. What you see on the top floor is five direct flush valve water closets right beside five direct flush valve urinals, and the lower floor down is five more direct flush valve water closets. Now we're gonna label out the fixture units like we're told to in table 2632C for the water closets. On the far left hand side here, we have 40 fixed units going to this water closet. The next one down is 30. The next one down is 20. The next one down is 15. And the next one down is 10. Now the five water closets along the bottom floor are going to look exactly the same as the five upstairs. Now the urinals up top though, we need to look at table 2632B. So this one on the far left is going to be 20 fixed units. The next one is 15. The next one is 10. The next one is 8. And the last one is 5. Now let's look at the fixture units between the urinals. So between urinals two and three there, we're only supplying the first two. We are at 35 fixture units. I move over to the right. There is 45 fixture units right here. And between here is 53 fixture units. And then the pipe that drops right down through the bottom of the floor, 58 fixture units. Notice how I just read the fixed unit load that is in the right hand most column in table 2632B. That's what those numbers are there for. Now let's look at those water closets on the top floor. Between these two water closets, we have 70 fixed units. Between this one off to the right, 90 fixed units. One more connection off to the right, 105 fixed units. And then the pipe that provides water to all five water closets is 115. Once again, I'm looking on table 2632C and I'm looking in the cumulative values right on the right hand side column. Now the water closets on the lower floor are going to look exactly the same as the ones on the upper floor once again. But we have this common pipe here dropping down through the floor, which is going to involve all 10 water closets and the five urinals. Let's size this up a slightly different way. Now the upper floor is not going to be anything special. Looking at the water closets, we start at 40, then we have 30, 20, 15, and 10. The urinals, once again, 20, 15, 10, 8, and 5. So we're just going to add all those up for this common pipe down here, and we're going to get 173 fixture units right there. Where this gets different is the lower floor. So when I'm looking at this pipe here, I have all the water closets upstairs 
which was 40, 30, 20, 15, 10. And now I have five more water closets that are 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. So this common pipe that's down below here will have the 173 fixture units from the upper floor and plus 50 fixture units for the lower, which is 223 fixture units in total. Well, hopefully this video made sense to you and the next video will show you some sizing examples on how we can actually size the pipe. You have yourself a good one.